back at it again and finally it seems that um some true republicans are finally standing up what a sight to see i must say it is um quite impressive if i do say so myself to um see what's happening happen you know because i've gotten used to republicans just lying down and rolling over and just saying you know what it is what it is right um i guess i shouldn't call these folks republicans excuse me i gotta i gotta i gotta break that habit because they aren't true republicans those are uniparty members in my humble opinion true republicans don't lay down and just bow out to democrats whenever democrats throw a temper tantrum that's not a true republican to me in my humble opinion okay true republicans are like matt gates who stand up to the uniparty Kevin McCarthy and say, uh-uh, kick rocks, step aside. I don't care what you say or what you try to do to me, but you got to go. If that means I got to go too, then so be it. That's a true Republican to me. That's that's a true Republican to me. But uh, we've got to talk about some true Republicans actually standing up today. Like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button if you are new. And let's have a word from Joe Biden first, too. Let's dive in. Trump an insurrectionist, sir? Well, I think it's certainly they're self-evident. You saw it all. Now, whether the 14th Amendment applies, I'll let the court make that decision. But he certainly supported an insurrection. And no question about it. None. Zero. And uh, he seems to be doubling down on about everything. Anyway, I've got to go do this. Hey, what uh, yeah you heard that correct she asked is trump an insurrectionist and of course joe said yes <laughs> not surprising not surprising since um you know he probably well i don't know actually i was going to say he sent out the commands for you know all of this to happen i'm sure he might have mumbled it under his breath or something but i, I don't think he's the mastermind <laughs> of it all it's it's definitely somebody else if i if i uh do say so myself uh i i just don't see joe biden as the mastermind type of guy but hey maybe i'm wrong i don't know <laughs> maybe he's um putting on the feeble old man act to uh trick us <laughs> i don't know but let's let's jump into this clip uh check it out to deport them. Joining me now is a Texas Lieutenant Governor, Dan Patrick. Uh, Dan, now the White House said today that this law won't make communities safer. Your response. So we spent a lot of time, Laura, in the Senate writing this bill along with the governor, and we believe we have a bill that will uh, survive any type of Supreme Court challenge because we are being invaded. Uh, Arizona tried this about 10 years ago, but our law is different. It simply says that our law enforcement can arrest anyone, uh, take them in, uh, do a background check, photograph, do fingerprints. Uh, if they saw them cross the border illegally, uh, we can do that. Or if they happen to reveal in the arrest stop that they uh, crossed illegally, and then the magistrate will send them back and will escort them to the border. Uh, and they have a choice. They can go to jail or they can go back. And if they go back and try to come back again and we arrest them again, the penalty gets even higher. We're fed up. In fact, seeing what happened in Colorado tonight, Laura, it makes me think, except we believe in democracy in Texas, maybe we should take Joe Biden off the ballot in Texas for allowing 8 million people to cross the border since he's been president, uh, disrupting our state far more than anything anyone else has done in recent history. And so um, this is... Uh, this is so outrageous. 10,000, 12,000, 14,000 people a day crossing the border. Eight million now, people the numbers, since he's been in office. Know, enough to be the 12th largest state. Yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> now, I, I think the numbers uh, kind of, they not, they're, people are numb to the numbers now. It's the sheer yeah. mass of humanity that is yes. obviously taking over cities, local communities, school districts, health care system. Yes homeless shelters. I mean, it is overwhelming, already overburdened state and local budgets. And now, Dan, 
this congresswoman, Jasmine Crockett, decides, well, it's time to go after Texas. Watch. I'm very concerned because the Republicans have never gotten immigration right. When you look at somebody like Greg Abbott, my governor, and his solution, his solution is to basically say, hey, we're going to kill people that are trying to come in. Like, that's not a solution. That is a blatant lie. Blatant lie. So Democrats are allowed to just walk around here just lying about anything and everything, but Republicans... As soon as we say something that's just even slightly off, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, conspiracy theorism, what? She said that the governor of Texas is advocating for pine boxing people. What? How? By sending them back? By saying, no, you, we, we don't want this? Hey, go back to where you came from? Excuse, I, I, can anybody explain that one to me? Because one plus one ain't adding up to two right there. That's like seven. I, I don't know what's going on here. Like, I'm, I'm. There's something missing. <laughs> there's a lot missing. Okay, that's that's ridiculous. What? What? what so, did she Dan, say? kill uh, people. You're a congresswoman from Texas. Tr you're trying to kill people. Yeah. You and Abbott. She, she's, she's Jasmine Crackpot, not a Jasmine Crockett. Um, that's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, our bill, Senate Bill 4, says we can arrest them and send them back. Uh, we also passed another bill to put another $1.5 billion into board, uh, to building more wall. And we filed another and uh, passed another bill, excuse me, uh, to deal with uh, human smuggling because the Biden administration is doing nothing, Laura, as we all know. We know that hundreds of people on the terrorist watch list have been apprehended. That doesn't count all the people we don't catch. We know no, that sex care. offenders, rapists, murderers no. have crossed the border, and Biden does nothing. Care. He puts our lives at risk. They don't care. But, you know, you know again, Laura, our founders... They, don't, they don't care that... You know, no. Dan, they don't care about the Constitution. They don't care about the representative democracy. They don't care about democracy, and they certainly don't care about how many Americans and legal immigrants... No have been killed or brutalized or beaten no. or robbed because of the people they they don't care that's all a collateral damage Dan we got to roll thank you for of course they don't care of course they don't care um I, I I believe there's there's one of two things happening here they are trying to um, strengthen their voter base one. Or they are building the world's largest military, the likes of which we've never seen. Because if you look at a lot of these images of border crossings, you know, and, and a lot of people have touched on this and talked about this. There's a lot of men. Not a whole lot of women. You know, it, there's, there's a lot of men coming across the border and it's like, hmm, that's interesting. Where's all the ladies? Y'all just left the women? to fend for themselves in such a terrible place? Like, the places that you were allegedly coming from were some really terrible places, allegedly, right? That's why you're fleeing. And you just left your lady there? You didn't, like, bring her with you to make sure that she was safe? I'm confused. I'm confused. And there have been video, or I saw a video um, yesterday of a guy who literally had... Um, the address of a home written on a piece of paper that he was supposed to go to. Yeah. I wish I would have saved that video. I don't even remember where I saw it, you know, if it was on YouTube, if it was on, you know, one of these other social media sites or what, but he literally had the uh, an address that was blurred out on a piece of paper for where he was supposed to go to. And I'm like, hold on, what? This seems a little too coordinated for me. You got an address of where you're supposed to be going to? Who gave you that piece of paper? That's what I want to know. Who told you about this? But back to uh, the original story that I wanted to touch on, and it is this. Exclusive. Republicans drafting bills to remove Joe Biden from ballots in Georgia, Arizona, and Pennsylvania. Also in Texas uh, and Florida as well, I believe, too. But 
<clears throat> Three Republican state lawmakers are drafting legislation to remove President Joe Biden from ballots in Georgia, Arizona, and Pennsylvania. Breitbart News exclusively learned Friday. Um, if Biden is removed from the ballots, the president will have difficulty winning the Democrat primary and presidential election. Georgia, Arizona, and Pennsylvania are pivotal or vital, excuse me, uh, swing states. The three representatives who are drafting the three bills are Pennsylvania Rep. Aaron Bernstein. Shout out to Aaron Bernstein. Okay. I don't know who you are. I'm going to have to look deeper into you, all of these folks. But uh, Georgia Rep. Uh, Charlize Bird. Hopefully I'm pronouncing these names correctly. If I am not, I apologize. Uh, Arizona Rep. Corey McGar. I feel like I'm butchering these. Uh, once again, I apologize about the pronunciation uh, if I am butchering these. The state representative's aim, aim is to fight back against the Democrats' so-called lawfare used to attack former President Donald Trump. The Colorado Supreme Court ruled Tuesday in a 4-3 opinion that the United States Constitution's insurrection clause blocks Trump from appearing on the state's presidential ballot. We are joining forces to introduce legislation to remove Joe Biden from the ballot in Georgia, Arizona, and Pennsylvania. The lawmakers told Breitbart News the absurdity of, of radical Democrat judges removing Donald Trump from the ballot in Colorado will be a stain on the American political system for decades. By their very own interpretation of the law, Joe Biden is 100 percent not eligible to run for political office. Democrats insane justification to remove Trump can just as easily be applied to Joe Biden for his insurrection at the southern border and his alleged corrupt family business dealings with China. They continued, Colorado radicals just changed uh, the game and we are not going to sit quietly while they destroy our republic. To be clear, our objective is to showcase the absurdity of Colorado's decision and allow all candidates to be on the ballot in all states, they wrote. To do that, we must fight back as Republicans against the communists currently running our great country. Republicans were, imme were immediately um, incensed by uh, the Colorado Supreme Court's decision. Many floated ideas to block Biden from various state ballots. Texas Republicans threatened to take action, predicted, uh, predicated on Biden's administration op open border policies, but no action was taken. While GOP, GOP elites are asleep at the wheel, the Democrats are very serious about destroying the American Republic. Yeah, uh, here's a great point right here. GOP elites are asleep at the wheel, and that is intentional because they are uniparty members. Have we heard anything from Kevin McCarthy? Nope. Mm -mm. He's supposed to be a leader. I mean, not anymore, of course, but... <laughs> he claimed to be one and this is the point where you're supposed to show your leadership not just take your ball and run home okay now i know he's leaving but still if you care about the republican party kevin we would have heard from you and that's exactly why you got kicked out it's because we know exactly who you are where's mitch where's old mitch huh Where's Mitch McConnell? Where has he been? Has anybody seen him? Anybody heard from him? Anything? I haven't. Where's he been? Where's he gone? Come on, Mitch. I thought you cared about the Republican Party. You're supposed to be the leader. Or at least one of them. Where you at? Nowhere to be seen. Nowhere to be heard. Of course not. It's to be expected from, you know, the Uniparty members. But shout out to, uh, once again, shout out to... Aaron Bernstein, Charlize Bird, and Corey McGar for standing up for democracy. <laughs> I, I had I had to do it. it. It was just too tempting. You know, Democrats always yell about democracy, um, which they are standing up for uh, democracy right there. You know, letting the people decide. Letting the people decide. But as always, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. And hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.